Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and I'm gonna try to be playing. There's the sound. Try to be playing this like I don't know retro game of Pac-Man called like Forget Me Not. Um, it's sort of like Pac-Man again, sorta. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I haven't played it a lot, so I'm still not sure what things do. Oh God, I exploded the wall. That's kind of scary. Alright, let's see. Oh, I didn't get any of the jellies. Alright, more jellies. I don't want to die again. So, basically, if you shoot these guys enough, they also shoot back. You get food. Um, some stuff shows up that I don't exactly know. Oh, I can shoot myself. Fuck! It's not a good idea. Don't shoot yourself. It's not a very smart thing to do. It actually could be very useful if I didn't shoot myself all the time. Oh, I'm afraid to go in there. I'm afraid I'm gonna die. Let's see what happens if I can. Okay. But anyway, sorry. I'm really, I'm really not good at Pac-Man, so like, not sure what to say to this game other than. Oh god, I'm gonna die. They kill each other as well? Alright, let's get to the... Ah, oh, awesome. <sighs> Me through level 1, we've got one life left on level 2. Alright, so basically, I kinda like this game. I like how cool looking it is. It's got tons of like little sound effects. Yeah, killed it. Um, but yeah. Cherries! I got a cupcake. I got a cupcake that time. Oh fuck. Oh god, this guy isn't cool, man. He just sort of follows you and is a prick about life. I feel like I'm trapped in this like little hole. I love how like these guys can either help or like kill you depending on like how they feel. See, like, the little yellow guy is just, like, chilling and helping me and shit. And that little blue guy is just, like, trying to kill me. Anyway, level three. I feel like I feel so accomplished because the first time I played, I sucked so bad that I didn't make it to level two. So now just the fact that, oh, fuck, I'm making it so far is kind of cool. So those little hearts at the top of my screen, I can get shot so many times but once those little hearts run out I lose a full life is my recollection of what's going on um there isn't instructions at first when you start playing which sort of confused me at first because I was like how do I hit the fire button I'm not sure what the fire button is but just like arrow keys and then I think fire might have been like enter maybe Z not exactly sure I'm shooting myself fuck that's an issue shoot this guy Fuck, he killed me. Oh, okay, now I'm gonna spawn back here. The arrows tell you exactly where you're gonna spawn. It looks like some of them can actually... Fuck. Shoot arrows through stuff. Like, I let off a bomb, as you saw earlier. And that was kind of cool, but it seems like after a little while, what happens is, is parts of the arena that you're in, arena area, start to die away. Which kind of adds a bit of a mix to it. Oh, fuck, I killed myself. That's really awkward. Oh, should probably put jupe up here. J-U-P. Oh, can't. Baby, see the if... Can I put a U here? Put... Look at that. Beautiful. Alright. So yeah. Ooh. I guess the levels are different every time. Um, so this is called Forget Me Not. Um Lemmington, as always, found this game for me to play because he's just so pro at finding odd games for me to play. Um, I tried to make videos earlier. I tried to make Squid Harder. 
Um, earlier today I tried to make that work and for some reason Fraps just couldn't let Squid Harder play. And then I tried to do the game, um, what's it called? Spelunky? Which is actually really, really addicting. And I am going to find a way to somehow record that, even if it involves not using Frap and using some other gaming system, or some other way of recording. So if anyone knows anything that would work, it'd be awesome if you just, like, put it in the suggest- Hey, he stole my key, little fucker. Awesome, got it back. But basically, if I need to find a way to record that, because it's honestly, in my opinion, one of the best games out there. Um... But yeah, this game's pretty cool. This one's pretty low key though. It's the only thing. Let's kill this guy too. Alright, awesome. Here we go, level two. Um So neon. All the colors are so neon. How did this game not catch on? It's got like awesome sounds. It's like Pac-Man upgraded. I don't see why I've never heard of it before. Oh, he's gonna get our key, isn't he? Well, that's not gonna happen. These little guys, they can carry around the keys as well. Kill this guy. Come in this way. Oh, there we go. In a new hole. It's kinda cool. Alright. So, today was basically a normal day. I worked, which kind of sucked. Um, working in apple orchard. Some background info on my life. I work in an apple orchard. Oh fuck, this doesn't look great. There's a bomb following me. Um, I work in an apple orchard. Um, basically I do not apple picking. I do bounce house stuff. Um, bounce. I work a bounce house. As well as I make scarecrows in an interesting ish way. Um, we make scarecrows using like, you stuff clothes, obviously. With hay, obviously. And then you. Why is it beeping like that it's so annoyingly? I died! What the fuck? Alright. So basically, um, after their stuff though, for the head, we use pantyhose, and then we tie, like, the front leg down, like, where your ribs would be, and through belt loops, and then we do the same at the back for sort of, like, a spine, and it holds the whole thing together, so you don't need to furtherly hold stuff together. But yeah. You get to see a lot of cute children when you work in an apple orchard and work at a bounce house. And I swear parents like set it up so that like their children come, their child or children comes over and is like, is the bounce house free? And then you have to be like that jerk that tells them, no, you have to go get a ticket. And they look at you like all sadly and like full of, where's my door? I don't have a door to go through. I, I collected everything, didn't I? Did I not? Maybe I should go through here. Fuck. I killed myself again. It's kind of awkward when you kill yourself. Oh. Oh. What's going on? The screen's dark. Goodness. <laughs> but yeah, so... It's like my least favorite part of the job is being like, No, honey, you have to go ask your mommy for like two dollars so that you can go in the bounce house. Because kids, they look at you with like this this sad face that's sort of like, How could you ruin my hopes and dreams? So that's kind of awkward. But other than that, it's been a fairly unbusy day. I mean, I chilled for a long time. Sometimes you don't do a lot at work. It's just sometimes stuff doesn't happen. Like, we'll have slow days where there are, like, no people at the orchard. And, you know, those days really suck. But, you know, it's not that, like, we can do a hell of a lot about it. So, we deal. Um, fuck, that guy's gonna... Ugh, I killed myself again. Stop doing that. Nah. Alright, let's play again. Um, one of my friends actually called me while I was at work. It's the only, like, thing that I can really say is sort of kind of interesting that happened other than me working. Uh, I guess he works at Red Robin, and he was holding a glass or whatever and rushing. He ended up breaking the glass in his hand and getting stitches. That sucks. So now he can't work for the week. And he doesn't have cable or anything currently, because only cool kids have cable. Um, well, mainly because paying for cable is a bitch when you don't have, you don't get paid enough from your job. 
Why do these little sparkly things have my key? I want my key. Thank you. Oh my god. Fuck, they have my key again. Give me that key. I don't want to die. Let's go up. No, give me my key. That way I can steal the key. Awesome. But yeah. Um. Wow, my voice just cracked. Like a, like a guy. <laughs> One of the things that we sell at this apple orchard would be um, pickles. And you know, you're gonna think pickles. Well, pickles are pickles. No. These are hot and spicy pickles. So basically, you know how normal dill pickles, they're just sort of sour and dill-like? These aren't sour or dill-like. They're actually spicy because they have, um, they're pickled with jalapeno peppers and cayenne. So my sister hates spicy things. Now me, I love spicy foods. My sister hates it. Like, it's like the worst thing in the world. The jar, in big letters, says dill on it. So it's pretty easy to tell your sister, no dude, listen, this is dill pickles. You see, the jar says dill. Why don't you try some? And it's, oh, the bomb exploded. It's hilarious when she replies, okay, and eats one and then turns red. And that is what I did at school the other day to my sister. It was honestly the best thing ever. She's younger than me, so she's used to being picked on, but yeah, just watching her face light up. So I was like, yep, not dill. She wouldn't eat spicy stuff if she was paid. Alright, look at this end. Alright, we got the door. I swear, they know as soon as it's the door, and they're like, oh, oh shit, shit, we're gonna all just chill out here so she can't get in. Yeah, no, I win. Alright, level four. Not actually sure what to talk about during Let's Plays. Like, I don't know, I was discussing this earlier. Personally, I don't watch Let's Plays, but my brother does and stuff. I don't tend to really like games, nor do I like watching. Why can I not get in there? Oh god. This looks difficult. It looks like kind of a puzzle. But, you now my brother tends to watch a lot of Let's Plays, so. I used to watch some Minecraft Let's Plays. That's actually how I got Minecraft. Um, I watched Chill and Z. Maybe I'll link their YouTube at the bottom of this video. Oh god, this is scary. They're like all over. I used to watch Chill and Z's Excellent Adventure, where they sort of just played Minecraft and stuff. And because of Chill and Z's Excellent Adventure, I started wa or playing Minecraft. Well, I wanted an account. And at first, my brother's like, girls don't play Minecraft. I was like, girls play Minecraft. And so that led to me getting my own account, which evidently ed edited. <laughs> oh, God, this is not good. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the fuck is that? The fuck is that? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't want to get eaten by it. This is scary. It killed me, didn't it? Damn. That was actually kind of interesting. I'm not typing my name every time. Um, but yeah, Chilled is excellent adventure. Now, Chilled, I believe, had never played Minecraft before. Well, Z did, so Chilled was not kind of learning from Z. But they were both hilarious as fuck. And I mean, they had over a hundred episodes just dedicated to Minecraft. And some of them were like an hour long. The shortest one was like 15 minutes. And it was just them goofing off and building and stuff. So I was like, I want to play Minecraft, and I played single player for a while, and basically what happened was my brother was like training me or something, but he totally fucked me over, because he'd be like, oh, well, in order to get diamond, you need a diamond pick, you know, because, you know, the only thing good enough to break diamond is diamond itself, so you should just get a diamond pick. So, you know, I'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Or he'd tell me, actually, there's a... Well, my brother tends to use glitches in the game to, like, help him do stuff. Like, he showed me if you put a ladder down, you stand, like... Or if you put a door down and you stand, like, directly in front of it and you open it and then jump, you can get on top of it. So I tend to believe a lot of the weird stuff he said. And one time he said, all right, so, Caitlin... Or, yeah, Caitlin is my real name. Um, but he's like, oh, yeah, Jupiter... Um, guess what? If you play Minecraft and you jump in lava, there's a glitch, and it heals you instead of killing you. But it's only if the lava's already underground. It doesn't work if the lava's above ground. So, you know, I'm underground mining, and I, I found diamond that I can't mine, because I obviously don't have a diamond pick, because I haven't mined diamond. I believed him at that point. So, anyway, basically, jump into lava, die. Very upset. 
And finally, I realized that you could mine diamond, got diamond, fell into lava. Moral of the story, I played single player for like legitimately a day, and then I got a, I found a Minecraft server via, fuck I died, via YouTube. And I played on that for about a year. Um, but yeah, that was kind of cool. I got on a Minecraft server, I used to still share an account with my brother. And so, I got on, played, and then I let my brother on because it was time for bed, you know, whatever. I was tired, school in the next, well, actually we are on summer vacation, but regardless, um, I was basically bored out of my mind, didn't really give a shit, um, sort of went to bed at that time, and my brother was like, oh yeah, I can play, I can play, I can play. I was like, yeah, I'm trusting you, I read you the rules, do not break the rules. About an hour after I went to sleep, like less than an hour probably, my brother comes into my room, and you know, I hated being woken up, because like once I was asleep, I was done for the day. He came in, he was like, you're going to be mad at me. Turns out he had gotten banned from that server. So that was really awkward. I guess he had griefed and PvP'd, but I ended up making my own account and going on the server and playing for about a year and getting him unbanned in the process, which was kind of cool. Um, and now I have my own server. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, sorry. Now I have my own server, as most of you know, um, or should know by now. It's kind of what Jupecraft is. It's just a Minecraft server. Um, some other video that I don't have anything to talk about, I'll tell you about the name Jupecraft and where that came up. Because the name Jupecraft is sort of an interesting-ish story. Who's going to die first? Oh, both of us. At least it's interesting to me. Um, anyway, but yeah. So that's how I got into Jupecraft. I feel like I'm talking a hell of a lot about Minecraft on this video, but I really do enjoy Minecraft. Pac-Man, on the other hand, I don't know. The first time I played Pac-Man was probably on the original Nintendo. Which I do currently have. I wish I could record stuff on the original Nintendo. I have like the Zelda Golden Edition and Mario and all of the Marios. Basically I have the same Nintendo my dad had used when he was a kid. My dad had always just kept it. And just as a kid in the winter, that used to be the thing that we did in the winter. We'd just chill out and play old fashioned Nintendo games with my dad. Who'd be boss at it, of course, because, you know, been playing for the last, like, t ten years the same game. And he just really enjoyed beating all of us to death with this, with whatever game he was playing. Um, mainly we played Zelda. And, I don't know, I remember playing Pac-Man for a little bit and then playing, like, the Trolls version of Pac-Man. Just kind of like Pac-Man, it was kind of like this, except you were a troll on an island. So that was, you know sort of cool. You really gotta watch out about, like, shooting yourself. Yeah, it was sort of cool for a while. And, yeah, my sister was always really into Pac-Man, so I guess that's kind of why I Fuck, I killed myself. The bomb kept exploding everything. Play one more time. Alright. It's probably why I never got into it. Me and my sister tend to be polar opposites. Um, she tends to enjoy games that I don't like, and I found this to, like, Zelda, you were always, like, getting a purpose, or there was always a level to beat, and then in Pac-Man, it's just like, oh, I'm crunching on little invisible things that don't exist. I don't know, that's probably why I'm so far about this game, because I clearly suck badly. Um, if you haven't realized that, I do suck. Um... Let's see if I can get rid of the slime so I can fucking get this thing. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh god. I can't actually turn enough to kill this thing. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, the ghost. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Woo! Goodbye, ghosty. Ah, it's just like the Splunk Splunky game. You take too long on a level, a ghost comes that you can't actually kill. And then you're fucked. Oh god, this is gonna explode, isn't it? I died. No. Um, do 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 do. 
I love playing games. I love babbling and talking to you guys randomly. Even if you guys like never want to listen, I still enjoy this very much. I died again. Damn. Alright, one more time. This game's addicting. I'm just gonna keep saying one more time and keep playing. I like how all the levels are just sort of random. I don't know, that's something in Pac-Man that was all of the levels always the same. So, you know, you get to like level 50 and then you go back to the same level 1 that you've already like tried to beat a million times. And I don't know. If you're like me and you just really suck at any game with or without a story, it's sort of annoying to have to go all the way back to like the original first level that you've probably played at least a million times, if not two. And then you have to go and beat it, but eventually you get really good at it, that's true. But, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of randomly generating levels. If I was ever smart or pro enough to make a game, I'm pretty sure my levels would be all different. But then maybe I'd make something like Levington's game, where it's just like impossible to ever beat, ever, in your life, ever. And then like randomly beat it one day and be so extremely happy that the world explodes. That's what happened, the world did explode. It didn't, you can't say it didn't explode, because it, it totally did explode. That is a thing that happened. Um. Oh god, let's see what happens. What's that thing? The fuck is that? That's bullshit. That is bullshit. That thing exploded me. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Let's get out of this fucking level. Okay. This thing's fucking scary as hell. I'm level two. Oh, wow. Weird ass monster shooting me from far away and blowing up the wall. Not cool. I guess it would be cool for like the bad guys, but I mean, not cool for me, you know? I'm kind of pro-living. Right, we got through a door. Why is there, like, a spawner on the door, man? Alright, there we go. Last of it. What level are we on? Level 4. What's the farthest you've gotten? I say we, but I really mean me. You guys haven't done anything. Besides maybe watch a video and be semi-distracting because I'm trying to, like, play and talk. And I have trouble playing and talking and concentrating. I'm loving the fact that this key kind of stops me from shooting myself. But if I turn back, I'm like, fuck. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I died. They died first. I need to get the key back. Okay, let's get this way. Damn, did I die? Oh, yeah, I did die. There's the key, gotta get the key, gotta get the key. Key, get the key, get the key. I hear it, ping, 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 ping. I kind of like how the key is just sort of like a little shield, maybe. So, Semi-shield. It's a shield for behind you. For whenever you're sh Wow, this is kind of a lot to pick up. The level of on 5. We should sort of... Maybe it does tell me the level in the corner of the screen. I just don't notice it because I'm a fail at life. I wish the level was in the bottom side of the screen. So that if it is there, I could actually see it. But, you know, whatever. This opens up on a very small window on your computer, and I kind of don't normally like tiny windows on my computer, just because I, I like games to be full screen, but this one I kind of like the smallness of it, because I feel like I'd be overwhelmed if it was just a huge ass area full of a bunch of shit that I needed to collect. I kind of like how you kill these things to get food, because I'm a very food based person. Um, so. I like food, and I like my prizes being food. I don't know, I always tell Lemmy that I hate that his um, prizes are giant fruit, because I don't really think that fruit fits in with everything. I feel like coins is a more universal way to like earn points. He's always like, food's amazing, or whatever. Fruit's amazing, I like fruit. I'm like, no, no fruit. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys like fruit or no? Num, num. And because I've got nothing to say and I'm just kind of derping around, I feel like taking this time to tell you that you all should- Are they eating the X's as well? Do they also eat the X's? Are they like another- Oh god, 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 oh god,
I feel like they're eating the X's as well, so it's not just me. They keep stealing my shit, too. It's kind of annoying. Let's kill this one. He's got a key, cheating bastard. And then he fucking killed me. No! Goddamn. Oh, that's the end of it. Alright, so... There you go. Being skyped anyway. Forget me not. This game is Forget Me Not. There'll be a link to download it in the description. Um, I like it. It's pretty cool. Clearly, I'm sort of a fail, and it flashes a lot of bright colors. I'd like to take this time to sort of just say, please like my video. Um, other than that, I hope you all have a great evening. And, yeah, I'm going to end it with that. Um, if you know of any games that are sort of like a bit old school or weird like this one, feel free to like comment and tell me and I'll totally try to play it. Um, but yeah, some games just won't record as I said earlier. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like this video. That's about it. Bye.